Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. I'm so excited to show you guys the Lego Mindstorms EV3 race car. Ooh. This, no joke, is one of those projects where when people saw this, my students, they're like, their eyes bugged out. They're like, what? I mean, you know, we've had projects before where they're like, oh, that, that's cool. But when they saw this, they're like, no way. They're like, drop everything, run over and see this. So this video, I'm going to show you what this does, what's cool about it, and you're going to have to stay with me. And after watching this video, if you like what you see, go ahead and hit that subscribe button right there. Come on, I know you can do it. Okay, so the first thing I love about this race car is it just flat out looks cool. I mean, if it just sat here on my desk, I would be completely happy. But, you know, there's more to it than just that. The other thing I like about it is this medium motor that will actually steer the front, uh, basically front wheel drive here. So it's um, this motor, medium motor is basically controlling the steering. So this is not just like you know, a go straight, kind of like the Speedbot was, but this will actually be steerable. So what I want to do is be able to show you how that works with a program. So let's go to the floor. Okay, let me go ahead and give you uh, just some shots of what this thing looks like. Give you some uh, up close and personal looks at it. It's just a sweet looking project. Um, let me go ahead and... We somehow didn't have these pieces. Um, my students thought that their uh, project was derailed because of that, but um, we realized we didn't really need it. It was kind of one, one of those decorative pieces that looks like it was just holding things together, but in the end, um, we can still drive this thing without it. <clears throat> so it's just using... Um, as far as motors go, the BNC motor for the back wheels and the medium motor here. Um, don't necessarily need that ultrasonic, but it kind of looks cool. And then uh, for right now, this program is just going to have that back wheel turn in. And you can go ahead and see that this medium motor is turning uh, this front axle here. So. straighten this out so it doesn't drop the table. Look at that thing. That thing is so cool. So this race car is just, like we said, just a one of a kind. This was the first year that we actually built it. So it was just one of those first year, first moment kind of things where we were just awed by it. So this thing is just cool. So I have gone ahead and left you the uh, directions for the build. It's something you can find all over the internet. So it's not, you know, we had just stumbled across it. So we're glad we did. Um, but what's more fun is when you um, connect with your commander app to actually drive this. So. I'm gonna give you one last look at this and then uh, show you some video of my students driving this um, with their Commander app. Let's go to that. Recording of people driving. I like driving. Oh yeah, thank you. All right, Alexander, see if you can drive around this yellow thing and back. Yeah, we could figure out how to connect to it. Yeah. Because, yeah, 
Alexander. Okay, guys, hopefully you love the race car like we did. It was an awesome build. Again, you can check out the um, building instructions down there in the comment section. Sorry, the description. Um, but it, it's just really cool. You're going to need some expansion uh, parts. So those of you that just have the uh, EV3 core set, you will need some uh, parts. If you're going to build it just like the the way the link has it. Um, I forgot, it was about five or six different expansion pieces. So just make sure you guys have that on hand, okay? All right, guys, I am Mr. Hino from Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. I'm out. <laughs>